So in this video, we're going to try and find an estimate for the mean and the standard deviation. So what it says, the duration of two different brands of battery, A and B, is tested. 50 batteries of each type are randomly selected, tested in the same way. The duration of each battery is then recorded. The results of the test are shown in the tables that follow. So this, this is data for uh, type A. This is the data for type B. Calculate an estimate for the mean and the standard deviation of both brands of batteries. So we're going to do this two different ways. So let's have a look. So estimated mean for type A, we're going to need to find the midpoint of each of these points. So that will be 2.5, 7.5, 12.5, 17.5, 22.5, 23.5, 5, and 32.5. And then we have to do X times F, which is 2 because this one appears three times, so it'll be 2.5 times 3, which is 7.5. This one occurs five times, so we'll have to do five times that, 7.5. 12.5 times 8, which is 100. 17.5 times 10, which is 175. 22.5 times 12, which is 270, and then so on. Okay, then what we need to do is with the mean for a frequency distribution means I need to add up all the XFs and divide by the total in the frequency. So that's going to be, this total comes to 945. So the mean for the first set of data is going to be 945 divided by 50, which is 18.9 hours. Then for type B, doing a similar sort of thing, taking gain though, taking the same midpoints, and then multiplying the frequency times x, so 2.5 times 1, 7.5 times 1, 12.5 times 10, and so on. So we're just uh, multiplying the midpoint. So notice, it, because the data is grouped, some of the original meaning of the data has been lost. So that gives me 915, so that will be 915 divided by the sum of the frequencies, which is 50, which gives me 18.3. Estimated uh, standard deviation type A. So we know that the mean was 18.9 H. So this is what we do. We take again, we take the midpoints and then we work out how far each piece of data is away from the mean. So each of these midpoints, how far they're away from the mean. So you can see that uh, 2.5 minus 18.9, it gives me minus 16.4 and so on. And then we square each of those because if we, when we add them up, if we don't do that, we will um, lose some of the meaning of the data. Now, so this one happens three times. So we'd have to now do three times this, five times 129.96, uh, okay, and then so on down that column, uh, eight times. 40.96 and then so on if we add them all up they get 50 there and we're interested in this okay so the unbiased estimate of the standard deviation will sum of the frequency how far each piece of uh, data is away from the mean divided by the sum of the frequencies minus one so that's going to be that number there, 3,402 divided by 49, because 50 minus 1 is 49. And take the square root, that gives me 8.332 and 8.33 hours to three significant figures. However, this requires a lot of work. So let's have type B, let's use the other formula. So we're going to use this formula, the alternative formula which is the square root of sigma fx squared minus sig sigma fx bar over sigma f minus 1. So remember for a set of data is sigma x squared minus n times x bar squared over n minus 1. So it's the slightly same sort of idea for a frequency distribution. We'll need to take the midpoints and we'll need to square those midpoints. So for example, the last one here is 32.5 squared gives 1056.25. We 
then each one of those occurs uh, this occurs one time so it's six one time so it's 56.25 10 times so it's 1562.50 and then so on we need to sum those some of the frequency is 50 and some of this is 18 1,362.50, so the unbiased estimate, sorry, will be uh, 18,362.50, that number there, div minus 50 times 18.3 divided by 50 take away 1, that gives me 1,618 over 49, 5.746, which gives me 5.7523 significant figures. So, using the GDC, if you use the GDC, you have to put in the midpoints in A and then the frequencies and then do one variable stats and you'll get all that information. So X bar, we can see, is the same as we got when we calculated it. You can get the numbers here, 945 divided by 50, which is 18.9. SN, sigma X bar, F, F, FX minus sigma FX, uh, bar squared over sigma f minus one so that will give me th that number minus 50 times 18.9 squared over 50 minus one which gives me 8.33 so we take this one here sx 833 and a similar idea for this one again we can get the numbers from the calculator Again, putting the information in, we get the sum of x squared. As, so this is the sum of fx squared in this case, minus 50 times 18.3 squared over 50 minus 1, which gives me 5.7523 significant figures, which is this number here. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the unbiased uh, estimate of the standard mean standard deviation it's an estimate this time because it's the data was grouped from a frequency distribution i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching